Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see how to make the screw rod for a machine wise. And the screw rod, uh, screw rod uh, details are given here. And here, go to new and then click on metric, choose standard mm.ipt, create. Start 2D sketch, xy plane. We are going to draw only the half portion because we are going to use the option revolve first let me draw the rough diagram now I'll add the dimensions the top bottom is given as M6 sorry M10 so it will be 10 divided by 2 that is 5 and from this end to this end it is given as 12 mm in dia so it will be 6 mm 12 divided by 2 and from this end to this end it is threading or threading of diameter 20, uh, 20 and pitch of pitch 2 so diameter is 20 so here the distance will be and the outer one it is of diameter 32 so it should be 16 now i'll specify the height this height bottom height is given as 22 18 this one is 22 I will specify this height first. The total height is given as 250. Uh, the total height is not given. You need to add it. So instead of adding, I'll just go from the dimensions itself. This height is given as 250. Add this dimensions and this one is as 40 mm. So this one is 250, this one is 22, Now just fully constrained and here I am going to add fillet. <coughs> we have given a fillet of radius 3mm. You can either add it here or using the 3D tools you can add the fillet. We sketch and we will revolve it and choose this axis. And now we will have uh, threading so here and here. So we will make the threadings using the thread command. So we'll choose this one and this of M10 and through this full distance the threading is there. So I will choose isometric. Uh, they have not mentioned actually which kind of thread is there so you can choose whichever you want. And even the pitch also they have not mentioned you can choose either 1.5 or which one is available in the drop down. And depth, since it is through all, leave it. Now we'll make another thread from this end and some maybe profile. This one the specified has pitch as 2 mm, and the length of the thread is specified, it's also specified that is 170 mm. So he was can specify it as 170 and from 
put the surface actually. Now from this uh, top, this 170mm threading has been made. Just uh, see isometric profile and and there are two holes one from this side and the one from the other side and we cannot see it properly and the, so they are given the top view uh, the whole sort of diameter 10 mm can do it and the height from this end to the center of the hole is given as 20 mm so we we'll start a 2d sketch can choose this plane or this plane since it is required and now we'll draw the circle this draw actually at the center you cannot see so not to see you can go to view and change the wireframe and hidden now you can see now we'll add the dimensions from here it is given as 20 and the diameter is given as 10 mm. Now, now I will use the option cut. Use the revolve part and change back the view to shade it with edges. And I will use the output in the output. I just use task cut and I choose symmetry and just extend to, or you can just specify the surface to which it has to be extended or then ok and the hole actually what you have seen is only this side and it needs to be made uh, 90 degrees towards it again so we will choose we are having an option called mirror so we will choose the option mirror uh, or you can sorry you can use the option revolve or like pattern uh, here there are pattern like circular pattern rectangular pattern and you can use that choose the profile and in the pattern you choose circular profile now the feature has been uh, selected before if you have not selected the features go to the feature and then in the model uh, browser you can choose uh, the feature or the any feature that it has to be made the pattern and now rotation axis in the rotation axis specify any the circular part about which it has to be revolved now I'll give it has four ah, now the angle is given has 360 degree and then click on four okay you can see an hole has been made. Now we will see and apply the material. In the drawing details, it is given as it is made of Fe410W. Like I said in the previous video, I have already added the material to the Autodesk Inventor library material. So if you have not created, you need to add. Um, but if you have created it, you can just search here and then click on upload.